At the Statue of Liberty, there's a plaque that reads in part, Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses. In New York, the city that lies in Lady Liberty's shadow, there is no giving necessary. They're already here and in record number. Right now in New York City, simply put, we have more homeless people each night than at any time since the Great Depression of the 1930s. Last December, April Gales gathered up her two children and moved to New York City. Through a series of bad luck and bad bureaucracy, April ended up one of the faces of the city's growing homeless population. Well, I would have never thought in my wildest dreams I would end up being homeless and ending up in a shelter with my kids. Gales is part of a nearly 20% rise in homelessness in New York. Patrick Markey with the Coalition for the Homeless says that while the recession is a large factor in the boom, it has been compounded by poor public policy. For the first time since modern homelessness began 30 years ago, we have now in place now no housing plan to help homeless children and families leave our shelter system and obtain permanent housing. The spike in homelessness has created an urgent need for shelters. New York has added 10 new shelters since January, oftentimes without a public hearing on their location. One new shelter, opened across the street from Public School 75, has angered parents. Julie Olivari understands parents' anger. She went to PS 75, but after a stint in prison and a battle with addiction, she now lives in the new shelter across the street. She was part of a rent subsidy program, but when the city and state dropped the program, she was evicted. We don't have a super job or nothing like that. We can't afford to rent, you know? We gotta get like, some kind of affordable housing that we could go with our budget, which stuff that was supposed to be what they were supposed to do. It was like 30% of your income, and then they help you with the rest. Veteran Sean Joel also found himself in the shelter system after the rent subsidy program ended. He's beginning to lose hope. He says he feels like he's getting pulled under. Everyone's just sitting in the shelter, the shelters are getting crowded and crowded because there's, there's no way out right now. The AP had an interview scheduled with Seth Diamond, the city's head of homeless services, but he canceled the interview after learning the AP had talked with homeless not hand-picked by the city. Besides opening shelters, the city is urging people to move in with family or move out of the city if they have family in other states. At last count, 46,000 people seek refuge in New York City shelters every night, the highest number in the city's history, and a number that doesn't include those who don't make it inside. David Martin, Associated Press.